hearts. This is what the gospel taught me. I was in my bedroom and I realized, see, you can't share this stuff when you're young in the Lord. Sometimes you think people are going to look at you cockeyed and call you a heretic. But I realized I was a house fit for a king my whole life and never knew it. I was predestined for destiny. Like, he paid a high price to obtain me. And I'm in my room thinking about this and Holy Spirit said, Jesus didn't die on the cross to expose your sin. He died on the cross to remove your sin and expose your value to him. No preacher in my life ever told me that. Everybody always told me he died because I'm a sinner. Well, he had to die because I sinned, but do you think he died because I'm a sinner? No, he died because I was a lost son and I have a destiny. It's all about purpose and future and legacy. Everybody always told me he died because I'm a sinner. Who pays a high price for nothing? And he shed the blood of his son to obtain me. And he believes the price is well worth the purchase possession. And he believes the price is well worth the purchase possession. <laughs> he doesn't want to live with a house made with hands. When Todd said, I heard Dan years ago say, you know, God could live anywhere. What I say is he could live in a castle in the sky. He could sit it right in the sky because he's God. He could do it. The most massive mansion castle you've ever seen in your life. And the north, south, and east, and west could see it all at the same time if he wanted to. Right? And you could get up out of your house with your kids and they could be going to school. Looking at that thing and you say, that's where God lives. Whoa. But he doesn't want to do that. He wants to live in you. So that people look at you and go, Whoa. Yeah? He paid a pretty serious price to move inside of you. If I'm reading my Bible right, sin evicted him from his home. And he paid a price and dealt with the problem and moved back in and made all things new. Tore out the whole inside of that thing and put all new inside. Oh man, I thought it was a prayer to go to heaven. And now I realize it's heaven coming into me. Yeah. Being made one with Father. Come on. It's such a big deal. Is it a big deal or what? Guys, I didn't pray a prayer to go to heaven. That was not my motivation to get my name in a book. I got restored back to my original value. The reason I'm on the earth got restored through Jesus Christ. He paid the highest price to get back the highest value that I have in him. And that's to walk in his image. Come on, it's to manifest his heart. It's to see myself the way he sees me so I can see you the way he sees me. Because then I can love my neighbor as I love myself. Yeah. <laughs>